Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from WellU. Shout out to WellU for sending over the O2 Ring wearable oxygen monitor. Uh, and you can check this out on their website. I'll have a, a link in the description below where you guys can check this out. Now it clocks in at about $179. So we're going to dig into this pretty deep just to show you the features and see if this is worth your money. So stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the boxing on this. Uh, pretty uh, basic, not too bad. Again, if you want to check them out, you can check them out at www.wellyouhealth.com. I'll have that link in the description below. So let's get this out of the box. Let's go over some of the stats on this. The oxygen level range is going to range anywhere from 70% to 99%. Your pulse range is 30 to 250 beats per minute. Uh, measures in intervals of one second, uh, and then you have built-in memory on this for four sessions for up to 10 hours for each session. So this is something that it, you can use to wear at night. This is going to be somebody good with maybe sleep apnea or uh, you know COPD or somebody that really needs to monitor their overnight oxygen sats. Uh, they'll be able to do that with this device. Now, it's got a built-in battery on this as well that's rechargeable, and you're going to be able to get 12 to 16 hours of typical use per charge on this, and it's chargeable via micro USB. So you have this USB cable here that's a USB to micro USB. You can plug it into any PC uh, USB port, and as you can see right here underneath this flap is going to be your micro USB port for this device. It's IP24 rated for uh, dust and water resistance, just in case you wanted to know. Now, to get this uh, to activate, you can either touch the sensor on the top, that little circle there, and you'll see that there's a clock. And then you can just stick it on your finger here, and it'll start to automatically record your uh, O2 sats, which you see mine there, and my heart rate. Uh, and it blinks back and forth between both. I'm sitting at about 79 beats per minute and about 95% on my O2 sats at the moment. Uh, and that's very good. This is on the lowest brightness setting, by the way. Uh, and it's super comfortable to wear, I've found. Uh, you can see that it's constantly monitoring my O2 and my uh, pulse rate, and it leaves the tip of my finger open. So if I need to be typing or doing something else with this, it doesn't cover the tip of my finger. And that's actually pretty nice if you need longer periods of time where you need to monitor, uh, say during the day, and you need to be able to type or do something else, this will do that for you. So this is a very, very nice setup here. Uh, it only weighs a very, very minimal amount. And if I can give you the exact weight on it is 0.53 ounces or 15 grams. So it's super, super light on your finger. Uh, it uses Bluetooth 4.0 uh, low energy or LE. So it will hook up to any uh, iPad, iPhone. Uh, you can use vHealth, which is a great app that they've got here. And if we look at this, my connected device is already set up here. If it, you don't have one, it will automatically uh, try to connect for you and you just have to hit the icon to do it. Now we can look at some data here and I've got a few different sessions. It'll tell you how many uh, O2 drops or O2 sat drops you had under the threshold. So if you're wearing this at night, uh, this is a 13 minute session here. And you can see that my uh, uh, lowest SpO2 was 97%, average SpO2 was 98%, and my average heart rate was 72. So you've got all of that information right here and you have it in a graph. You also have motion down at the bottom. So if you're wearing this while you're sleeping, you can uh, see how much you're moving around as well. You can share this to other people or you can share it to Facebook or you can share it wherever you want, or you can share this, uh, save it as a file, and uh, of course, then give this to your doctor and show your doctor what has uh, transpired over the time. Now, this live dashboard is pretty cool too, uh, and I'm just going to slide this on my finger. It is backwards, uh, but that's fine. It'll read front or backwards. doesn't matter which way uh, that button is pointing. The display will just be upside down for the moment uh, until I switch you back. But 
you can see it takes about five to seven seconds to start getting a reading, maybe even 10 tops. But then I've got a live dashboard here built into the app that tells me what my SpO2 is, what my uh, actual heart rate is while I'm ch checking it out. Now, settings, your vibration settings on this, you can go from very weak to very strong. Very strong is super strong, and it will uh, actually uh, probably wake me up if I was to wear this at night and my SpO2 threshold is set to 90, so if it dropped below 90, uh, it would actually vibrate. And you can set it anywhere from 80% up to 95%, so you can do that. You can also set your heart rate thresholds. If you do that, uh, it's going to default to 120 being the upper and 50 being the lower, but you can go in and change those as well. Now, if you have a screen mode here and screen brightness, the standard screen mode is it will actually turn off in about 10 seconds and then you can touch it to turn it back on and you can set it to always on as well. Now, my brightness on this was low already, but now I've set it to high. You can see that it's got a pretty bright. You may not even want it that bright if you're going to wear this at night. Uh, the low setting at night is great. Uh, the fact that they give you options is also a good thing. Now I'll just flip it around here so that it's facing us. And again, you can see it's just currently chugging away 84 beats per minute, 97% on my O2 saturation. So I'm doing pretty good here as far as my numbers go. My heart rate's a little high because I'm talking uh, and doing the review itself. Now, another thing that we want to take a look at is uh, device updates. You can do over-the-air updates or factory reset the device. You can also set up for a premium plan, and this allows you for online backups if you don't want to save directly to the phone uh, and you want to actually save them online, you can do that as well. So overall, the app works pretty well. I don't have any problems with it, didn't have any crashes, holds all your information. This device stores up to uh, several sessions four sessions uh, of up to 10 hours a piece. Uh, so overall, you've got everything in a really lightweight, comfortable package that has accurate readings. Okay, so that's my review of the WellU O2 Ring wearable oxygen monitor. You can, again, check them out in the link below if you want more information. And this device is for people who don't want to just spot check their O2, you can buy one of those really cheaply. They're not Bluetooth enabled uh, and you can just spot check uh, your O2 and your heart rate if you need to just spot check. This is more for long-term monitoring. This will save four sessions of up to 10 hours per session in the device and then export that to your smartphone, tablet, or your PC, and that's something that I did not mention in the video, is that they do have a PC app for this. It is Windows compatible, not Mac compatible, with uh, Windows 7, 8, and 10, but you can also use the PC software if you don't want to use smartphone software. So that is also a plus for Windows users. Sorry for you Mac OS users. Now this, again, will work really well for somebody that has COPD or somebody that has sleep apnea that wants to wear this at night to monitor their O2 sats and their heart rate while they're sleeping because it can save those sessions for that long amount of time. There's not a lot of cons for this. This is a really a good device. It's very accurate. It matches up to uh, a lot of the other oximeters that I have, cheaper ones, uh, my uh, smartwatch, uh, a lot of everything. They're all within a point of each other on both heart rate and on uh, O2 sats. So uh, it's accurate. I like it. It's lightweight. The only thing that's a little bit off is just the pricing. I think the pricing at $179 is a little high, but if you have COPD or if you have a sleep apnea or something that you really, really need to monitor your O2 sats, it's kind of hard not to say that it's not worth the purchase. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you guys have not subscribed yet, please do so because that always helps me out. And I'll check you guys out on the next video.